Hey guys, it's Zara and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a 24 hour readathon. I have never done one before, so I'm super excited to only read all day long. Um, I have a few books planned that I want to read. First, I really want to read the Coraline graphic novel. I bought this a couple months ago and still haven't touched it. Um, but I absolutely loved Coraline, the movie and the book. I read the book when the movie came out like a month or two before the actual movie came out. But I really want to read the graphic novel. Uh, I feel like also I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 stars. I also want to read Reminders of Him. I just got this. I literally just opened this package. And I'm so excited. Um, only heard good things so far. So I'm very excited to read this. And every single Colleen Hoover book I've read so far is amazing. The next book I want to read is, this is actually a reread. It's The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, but when I did read it the first time, I never ended up annotating it, and I love annotating things recently, so I want to reread it um, and annotate it as much as I can. One of the other books that I do really want to read is The White Coat Diaries. I just purchased this a few days ago. Um, I think it's a contemporary romance. I swear I read the back when I bought it, but I don't remember anything about it. Looks kind of cute. I'm planning on finishing it, or hopefully starting it at least. And the last book, or the second last book that I really want to read is The Ten Rules for Faking It. Also bought this very, very recently. Um, it looks like it'd be a cute, like, wholesome contemporary romance. Um, doesn't look too big, so I really think I can get through this at least. And the very last book that I want to read, one of my reading goals is to read more nonfiction books. And since last year I read zero, my goal is to read at least one this year. And the one that I'm planning on reading is called Quiet. Um, it's a book about the power of introverts, and I feel like this would be a fun read. I also really want to annotate and like tab it. Okay, quick update. So, me and my sister decided to go on a walk. It is kind of cold. We're on our way home now. But it's getting windier and I didn't bring a hat because I didn't want my hair to get flat. <laughs> you have gloves. It's still really cold outside today. Okay, so it is 5 p.m. right now. I was reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm only a few pages in, I think about 40 pages in. Um, but because this is a reread, I just don't feel like reading it right now. Um, so I decided to read something really quick, something small. I'm reading Coraline, the graphic novel, and hopefully after that, I'll go back to Annie LaRue. It's become a must for me every single time I start reading a book. I cannot start reading it without going on Goodreads and, um, putting in that I started reading it. <music> quick update it is now 8 14 p.m took a extremely long break and i ended up at indigo but i'm back <laughs> and i am almost done Coraline. just have this much left um and then i started listening to the audiobook for percy jackson and the lightning thief and i feel like i kind of want to finish that rather than starting another book or i might just start one of the uh, contemporary romance books that I wanted to read. So a quick reading update. It is almost midnight. Um, I finished Coraline a couple hours ago um, and then I started reading this book, The White Coat Diaries. Um, I just wasn't really getting into the book. I read about 100 pages, um, so I decided to switch my book because I really just wanted to read something that I could get into. Um, so I started Reminders of Him. I'm very excited. I'm like two or three chapters in. <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys, so let's talk about what I was actually able to finish in my 24 hour readathon. Um, this was on my list, didn't even touch it. I, one of the books I actually did finish was 10 Rules for Faking It. Gave it a three out of five stars only because um, there was a few things that the main character did or like some decisions, some things she said that I just didn't agree with, kind of found them annoying. So, so our main character, Everly Dean, works as a radio producer. Morning of her birthday, she finds her boyfriend cheating on her. Here, her birthday has always been shitty. Um, so this year she decides to take charge and she writes basically a list of things. So 10 rules, um, for faking it to make, um, things better to go out of her comfort zone. Um, she also pitches her podcast idea to her boss. She comes into work that morning. Um, she ends up ranting to her best friend while the radio is live and ends up telling her whole story about her cheating boyfriend to all of their listeners. And obviously the audience loved it. So her boss, Chris, who is very polite, very respectful, and very cute, um, decides to do a radio show on her dating a bunch of different guys, kind of like The Bachelor, but through radio. And while she's going on different dates with different guys for this radio show, she ends up getting closer to her boss, Chris. And the next book that I didn't actually end up finishing, I started it and I'm about 100 pages into it, is The White Coat Diaries. This book says to be, it's the mix of Grey's Anatomy and Scrubs. Follow the main character who is starting her residency at a hospital. First day was already very disastrous. Meets her chief resident, Ethan, helping her out and showing her the ropes. And she actually ends up making a fatal mistake and she has to decide how much she's willing to lose for this cover up. I really tried to finish this book as well, um, but I really thought it was a contemporary romance when I bought it and it wasn't. I just really wasn't in the mood to finish it. So I did get through a hundred pages, uh, but I ended up putting it away. And I also didn't finish rereading this one, but The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue was also on my list. Got through about 50 pages, I want to say. Um, absolutely loved this book the first time I read it, but I bought it, the special edition. Look how pretty it is. And I wanted to reread it with all my annotations and tabbing it, um, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to put it away. I really wanted to get through as many books as possible. I didn't want to get stuck on one. And one of the books I did end up finishing was Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I actually got this package while I was in the middle of reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. <laughs> So Reminders of Him is actually about a young mother trying to fight for her place in her child's life. So we follow our main character, Kenna, who comes back to this small town where she grew up in after five years in prison. And everyone in her daughter's life is very determined to keep her out of her daughter's life. The only person who is willing to talk to her or help her out is Ledger, who is one of the people that she knew um, before she went to prison. I gave this book a four out of five stars only because it was well written. It was good. I feel like I kind of had to struggle to um, keep focus in the beginning, not because it was bad, just because I feel like all of her, Colleen Hoover's other books are like, I can't put them down. Um, but this one, I had to put it down for a little bit and then come back to it. I did end up really liking it. However, um, four out of five stars only because it's not one of my favorites. I think um, it ends with us and Verity remain my two favorite books by Colleen Hoover so far. And I did actually end up finishing Coraline. Now this was really short because it's a graphic novel, five out of five stars. I obviously love Coraline so much. Um, I love the movie and this I only I specifically wanted to read because I wanted to also figure out the differences between the movie itself um, and the book. It's been on my shelf for quite a while so I decided I finally wanted to read it. I'm so happy that I did.